Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. This is Father Sean of the North Kerry Pastoral Area. It's the first Sunday of Advent, and I read from some of this weekend's Gospel. This is the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus tells his disciples, stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again to you all. I read recently and I'm reading around Advent, I read of a lady who was watching with great interest and great anticipation a butterfly emerging from its cocoon. And she was fascinated with what was happening. However, the story was telling me that she was also impatient and restless for it to be brought to completion. And in her fascination and in her interest, she decided to try and hurry the process. So she heated gently the cocoon. She got the light of a candle and she heated the cocoon. And yes, wonderful, the butterfly with lovely colors was born. But however, its wings weren't heavy enough for it to fly. So the butterfly was beautiful, but because she rushed the process, she didn't, she wasn't able to wait because of her restlessness and her own impatience. The butterfly couldn't fly. That story I read around Advent. This is the season of Advent. And Advent really is about sitting with our impatience and our restlessness. It's about waiting, really waiting for God, waiting for new life. This is really what Advent is about. And you might notice for that season, in all our Christian churches, that the color has changed this weekend. The color of violet or maybe purple will be used. The vestments will be violet or purple this weekend. The Advent reed, the three of the candles are violet or purple. And any other coloring in the church will be that color. Just to emphasize that we're in this period of waiting and you'll notice that the there are four candles on the advent read there's four long weeks before now in christmas it's wonderful and these are lit one at a time just to help us to hold our focus for these four weeks because we are inclined just to be impatient and we are inclined to, to, to be very restless when it comes to everything, but particularly when it comes to Christmas as well. So the four weeks are trying to help us to feel that tension that's in all of our lives with our restlessness and our impatience. That, that, that's there all the time. And, 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 and we're inclined just to rush through it. Can we imagine the restlessness and impatience that went on for Mary as her due date approached. Mary was traveling at this time, traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem. She had no idea when her baby was going to be born. Here she was on the road, mostly walking, or we, we know that there was a donkey in place. But I can't even imagine that restlessness and that impatience that Mary had 
but Mary had a great relationship with God. She had just a deep relationship knowing that yes, she felt impatient, I'm sure, felt restless, would have wished it to be over, but she just couldn't hurry this journey of Jesus to be born. We don't wait easily. I'm inclined to rush into everything. I'm inclined to short circuit rather than wait. And the commercial world has taken really over Christmas. The basic message of the commercial world, look, is to buy. Christmas is about buying and, and, and to consume. And, and they want Christmas today, tomorrow, and every day between now and Christmas Day. And that's their world, and that's their world of commercialism. But Advent is, is, is really about waiting. It's about doing what Mary did. Let new life emerge for us. It's just a lovely time of the year. We all have struggles in life. But let's sit with the tensions of our lives. And out of that, out of that, let God help us to bring respect, patience, listening, maybe crying, forgiveness. These are all the aspects and the values of life that we can't rush. We really can't rush God. So Advent is to be cherished. Christians, we have this great gift of waiting and let us offer it to society. Jesus told us in the gospel to stay awake, praying for strength. Can we take a few moments doing what Jesus invited us to do in this Advent time? To stay awake and to pray. We pray for the strength to sit with and struggle with our impatience, our restlessness, so that new life can emerge for all of us. So we pray just for a few moments. Thank you. And we continue in prayer, asking God for the strength in this struggle, the struggle of sitting with and living with the tensions of our lives so the new life will come to us this Christmas, that Jesus can be born into the world and into our hearts. And we pray for people who have asked for our prayer people who are ill, people who are in hospital or ill at home. We entrust them to the healing hand of the Lord Jesus and to the love and to the care of their family and friends. And as always, we pray for those who have died, our own family and friends that have gone before us, and our prayers are asked for the repose of the soul of Joe Callahan, late of Lahashrock, who died in Birmingham during the week. And for those whose anniversaries occurred at this time, Mark O'Callaghan, Patsy O'Callaghan, and the deceased family members. For Michael and Margaret Holland. For John Falvey, whose month's mind occurs around now. For Jack O'Connor, Josie O'Sullivan, for Michael and Queenie Conroy, and for Tommy Dowd. And we offer all these prayers in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, deliver us not from evil. Amen.